Okay, in this question, they state that the graphs of the equations y equals 2x minus 7 and y minus kx equals 7 are parallel when k equals... Well, here they're trying to ask us when will these two expressions or, excuse me, equations be parallel, right? When will their slopes be equal? The idea is that two lines are parallel if they never meet and only if their slopes are equal. So if I have this line and uh, if I have, excuse me, two lines on, on this axis right here, they'll only not meet if their slopes are exactly the same, right? That gap between them will never close. So there'll always be some distance, there'll always be a distance between them. They'll never cross. If their slopes are not equal, they might meet eventually and then not be parallel. The other option is that they're perpendicular, but that only happens when the slopes, oops, when the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So if I have a slope here and here, I know they'll be perpendicular if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So if one slope is m, the other one's a negative reciprocal, negative 1 over m, right? Reciprocals mean that you take your number and you flip it upside down so that when you multiply them, m times 1 over m, you would get the number 1, right? That's what the word reciprocal means. Now, a negative reciprocal, when lines are perpendicular, is not only when their fractions are flipped, but one is the negative of the other. So which slope will be equal? Well, before I decide, I'm going to add kx to both sides. That's the key, because I want these two equations to look similar. And then if I simplify that, these cancel out, and I get y equals 7 plus kx, or kx plus 7. And then it's just, well, k has to equal 2. And you can see it, then their slopes would be equal. And here, I, I guess, I guess what we should say is that you can almost just automatically pick 2 because that's the, that is the slope of this line right here. So you have to, this eventually, because k represents the slope here, that would have to equal the same number, regardless of where it's written in the expression, right? So you know 2 would have to be the answer. All right, hope that helped.